Hey folks, hope you're having a good Friday, man. Can't believe it's the 1st of October already. I don't know where the time goes. Right, Tuesday we checked out Jacob, uh, aka Excreta, aka Moon Devoured. We've had him on the show in a bunch of different uh, projects. And I noticed as well that he's got another project going called Betwixt Lungs, which is a cool name. Um, and that's a spoken word project. Now, I actually like spoken word in music. Um, not so much just the kind of poetic spoken word stuff on stage. Um, that can be a bit self-indulgent for my taste, but I do like it in music. I used to listen to a lot of Christian hardcore in the early tw uh, 2000s, and a lot of those bands like to break it down and do a bit of spoken word in their tracks, and I actually used to enjoy it, even when they used to go on religious rants and stuff like that, even though I'm not religious. I just thought it added a cool vibe to the music. Um, it goes well with a breakdown, you know, when you've broken it down to some atmospheric sounds within a track, to then just speak rather than sing or shout. Uh, it's another way to do a vocal style. I dig it, but it's got to be done in the right way. And you've, what, what you're saying is important as well. Um, Say so some of those Christian bands used to go off on Christian rants about the Bible and stuff like that. And I didn't mind that so much as long as they did it with a passion and as long as it kind of felt like it had a meaning to it and they weren't just going on in a cringy way. Because sometimes spoken word can be cringy, it can ruin it, it can just be too much vibe for the track. So it's got to be done in the right way. Now, I mentioned in that video that he does some spoken word in his in his music, uh, and I'll, I'll be interested to check it out. And he sent it over for, t for us to do that today, which is very cool. I've not listened to it at all. I've got no idea what it's all about, uh, but I'm very interested to hear what it's about. And I think he's interested to let me hear it as well. So we're going to do that. The track is called An Effigy of Howls. It's featuring Atlantis. It's got an official vid to it. So let's give it a spin, see what's happened. on his vocal there, distor uh, not distortion, reverb, sorry, and delay. Sounds cool and atmospheric. It's interesting on this section, it's got the distorted guitar come in, but it's really quite low in the mix. No, it's not like guitar driven at this stage, it's still very vocal driven. It feels like it loses the bass part at this section as well. When it drops back to the uh, spoken word, it gets a lot more bassy. So I, I feel like they could have used a bit more bass in this chorus section, I'm going to call it. I feel that boom, straight back here. 
just kind of makes the, the chorus section feel less powerful than the, than the verses, and it's normally the other way around in music. I like the frills on the uh, cymbals in this section though, that sounds cool, gives a cool energy to the music. the heaviness. Oh, just ended out there. I'm not sure if that was how it was meant to end. Seemed like it was a bit of a shortcut there. Man, this was an interesting track. I wasn't sure what to expect from today, whether we were just going to get a lot of spoken word with a bit of atmospheric stuff in the background, whether it was going to be his usual down-tempo, heavy-as-hell, death y stuff, or what. And we kind of got a mixture of the two there. Um, and I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was... In, I, I was actually more interested uh, in how they decided to work out the sound and the music of this stuff... Uh, because the vocals and the, the spoken word stuff was very good. You know, there was no issues with that as far as I was concerned. But I thought it was it was kind of a strange choice um, to have the chorus less kind of a drop down in terms of volume and power and bassiness within the sound um, than it was compared to the verses. And I, I would I actually do think it would have been nicer to either keep that bassiness within the mix for the chorus or even up it up harder because that is a nice dynamic of the music. I mean, it's pretty typical, you could say, and, you know, that's what you hear in a lot of music, but it works well where your verses are at one level and then it kicks up a gear for the chorus and then drops back again for the verses. It's just, you know, it's just the bread and butter of music, that is. And this was kind of the opposite of that. The spoken word verses had a lot of bass and atmospheric sound to them. They sounded great. A lot of reverb and delay on the vocal as well at that point to give it space and atmosphere. And I thought it sounded really good. And then when the female vocal came in and the, the heavy guitar came in, it kind of just dropped down because the bass seemed to drop out of the mix at that point. The vocals were really buried. The guitars, sorry, were really buried in the mix and not kind of a guitar-driven thick sound like we had at the end of the track. Uh, and I think it would have been nicer if the if the guitars were a bit louder and were a bit chunkier and the bass, the the, the kind of oom um bass sound that was in the verses was still in the choruses as well because it it felt like it was nice and thick and then it kind of dropped out and then got thick again for the verses. So really, I th the spoken word stuff in this was great, but I think the music and the atmosphere and the way that they worked the track and the sound um, could have complemented the vocal and the, and, the, and the spoken word in a way that kind of made the track a bit more dynamic. Um, because it felt it was dynamic, but it, in, an, in a kind of opposite way to that, whereas it was dropping out for the chorus instead of beefing up and getting chunkier. Uh, so that would have been the, kind of how my ear would have, would have liked to have hear, heard this track. I'm not going to really call it music because it, was, it is music, but it's more spoken word and that is different to music. You know, they're not, 
it's not singing and it's not kind of there's not a, a a rhythm to the vocal and things like that so it is a different kind of music i would say spoken word is to to a regular song um but man interesting stuff i'd like to hear more of it to see where what else goes on in this kind of music uh see you know what the other tracks have got going on in them um so yeah very very cool to check it out and send it over thanks for doing that uh, and if you do put out any more videos send them over as well I'll be, I'll be interested to hear what's going on in this kind of music and one thing i do really like about this guy jacob now is that he's really putting his hand to a lot of different stuff he's obviously got a very dark edge to him um you know he's got that kind of it's not blackened but the 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 deathcore guys there's some dark deathcore guys which this guy is one of uh and they've just got that kind of darkness to them it's in a different way to a blackened band but it's that kind of vibe you know what i'm saying uh everything they do has got an atmospheric dark and edge to it these guys aren't making happy music in the least uh and it came through in this one as well that whole vibe uh, and i really dig that from jacob i like that he's, it comes through it doesn't matter what he's doing now whether it's deathcore down tempo deathcore this kind of stuff or what featuring on other other people's work he brings in that darkness that deathcore nastiness um and you know he brings that along with him whatever he puts his hand to i think it's very very cool so yeah i enjoy this guy a lot thanks for making a submission uh, and be interested to see what you put your hand to next very very cool hope you're having a good friday if you're gigging and stuff over the weekend have a good one we'll see you around bye